2019, uh, I was I was very ill. Um, I wasn't really aware of how ill I was. Um, I I came my 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 dad raised me. It was just me and my dad, and he was he was actually ill himself, like separate things. But so he wasn't really able to kind of keep an eye on me, and so I deteriorated quite quickly because I was a teenager and I just wanted to go and and hang out with my friends. That's what I did. So I collapsed at work. Um, and went to the, to the A&E and they told me that my kidneys were functioning at 5%. Um, and I was lucky that I got to the hospital when I did. Uh, and then I, st so I started dialysis about two weeks after that because I needed to have a, a fistula okay. placed um, right here. Uh -huh. um, and it took a couple of weeks for it to uh, be strong enough for the dialysis. Right. And I started and I hated it. Um, I remember the, the 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 pain in my arm for the first time was quite was quite horrible and the headache was awful. Um, but I hadn't quite accepted it then. I was, it was still quite new and it was it, after a few months that's when I kind of like started to like really hate it and really start to get really depressed. Right. Now at the time, I'm sure there weren't many of your friends on dialysis, so you were kind of alone in that situation. That must have been tough. Yeah, I was the youngest. The, the dialysis unit I was in was in Harrogate, which is in North Yorkshire in, in the UK. It's a, it's a really amazing town, it's, it's brilliant. Um, and the staff there were all amazing. It was a satellite unit, so it was tiny. There was about eight patients, I think. Um, okay. And I was the youngest by far, which I found very hard. Um, and all my friends were 19, 20. They were all, you know, starting to go out a lot more. And, right. And, and you unfortunately had the obligation of having to go to dialysis multiple times a week. And yeah, yeah. So I couldn't go out. I couldn't right. drink. You know, because was your diet changed during that time as well? Yeah, okay. it changed drastically. Like I, I couldn't eat a lot of fruit, like the junk a lot food. Of <laughs> yeah, I, I stuff like um, couldn't eat dairy stuff because of the the the, the phosphorus is in the dairy, yeah, yeah. right? And so it was, it was it was terrible. I had no appetite anyway. Uh, right, because um, you feel fatigued and whatnot. Yeah, and it, it hit me quite hard. Like it hit my emotionally and kind of phys and physically. I just felt it, found it very hard. And I, you know, the, the fluid restriction was one of the hardest things. Having a liter a day restriction right. was was horrible because automatically, so automatically then it, it makes me want to drink more water. Right, of course, it's, it's frustrating. The Alport Syndrome Foundation was created by patients so that no one ever feels alone when dealing with this genetic kidney disease. Our mission is to improve the lives of patients like Tom. The Alport Syndrome Foundation is the leading independent, nonprofit organization in the United States serving and giving a voice to the Alport Syndrome community. Go to alportsyndrome.org for more information on how to get involved.